Yeah, I'll call you right away back, okay? Okay, sure. Uh, so hello everybody. Um, this is really uh, a not. It's hard to explain the topic here. Uh, you know, I really wanted to work on something called the Last Prayer. Um, I, a friend of mine, um, it, I don't know what to say about this, but there's a really interesting thing that happens on Earth. It's called life, and and. Uh, uh, and basically what I wanted to talk about is this is some astrology here um, and I wanted to uh, talk about some important topics and I hope this is the most hilarious discussion ever if you think anything that I'm saying is serious if you even understand any English whatsoever I'm really sorry about that I feel very sorry for anyone that speaks in English um, at this point and um, basically this is called the last prayer so uh, this is a really uh, you know, I, I'm really thankful for all the people out there that um, I try to work with, especially people um, from different places. Um, and uh, I really need to learn a lot here. So basically, this is really a discussion of everything you need to not know. So the hilarious thing about all of this is that we're going to talk about a lot of stuff here in a moment. Um, I'm going to rush through this and you'll see why this is so funny. Um, but in a moment... Uh, we're going to discuss this. So basically, I hope you uh, find this helpful. And helpful is a very funny word because it involves the word hell. Um, but anyway, so please bear with me, people that speak English. Um, but I wanted to first talk about the Tower of Babel paradox. So there is a funny thing in life uh, where if you build something really tall, what would happen, right? Like you start having a lot of logical ideas uh, and you say you want to build uh, something all the way up into the sky and eventually that tower will fall um, because it just gets to be so crazy and complicated and just it's not going to work and there's something interesting called a manifold um, if you're not familiar with this so I, I basically wanted to give you a awesome perspective about how awesome your ideas can be so I, I want to tell you a terrifying story about myself um, so I am a person that tries to uh, solve problems, right? And uh, here's the funny thing about this. Um, so I, I don't know how to say this because it's very embarrassing. But so, you know, I grew up in a family and I was told to do all these things like go to school. Um, you know, okay, so like, like now, like I was homeschooled, right? So the philosophy originally was you have to sit in a chair all day to get an education okay so i, I want to rethink about this whole philosophy of what you're thinking about right now and this is why this whole conversation is going to be really funny right so you're supposed to sit there and listen to me talk oh my god turn this off right so here's the funny thing right there's this thing called a manifold in, in a higher dimension so you're probably familiar with I hope you're familiar with none of this, in fact, okay? Everything that I'm saying is completely out of bounds. So uh, originally, we didn't have something called a negative number. Like, we have something called a positive number, right? Everyone was, like, we, we were on Earth uh, running around doing fun things, and then it got to be this, right? So uh, we didn't have negative numbers, okay? Like, like if I said uh, there's one, but how could you have negative one? They would have looked at you like, what are you talking about? Um, there's no such thing as negative numbers. So uh, what about a complex number? Okay, so there's actually something called a complex dimension. Uh, and I wanted to talk to you about how hilarious this is. So remember, we're sitting in front of computers and people are starting to say, oh, computers matter. They're really important, all this kind of stuff. And I want to stress with you, I go back to my story about my education. So imagine me like if i would have gotten to this point in history and i would have been like man computers seem to be everywhere i walk out into the to the street here in the united states now it's not true in africa or in south america in some parts of the world they don't have computers or even in islands and areas so they don't like you know okay i've never even heard of uh, a computer ever and i actually still have not heard of a computer and i've worked for a supercomputing company um so 
uh, here's the funny thing is that these people claim to know what they're talking about. Now, if I would have gone back in history and I would have said, man, I really got to understand what these mathematicians are talking about. This is serious stuff. Everyone's on a computer. Oh, my God, I got to study this. But this is basically called the last prayer. So I wanted to emphasize with you that, um, okay, so what's going to happen now, right? Like we have a situation where... Uh, God may return to earth, Jesus Christ, right? And, you know, Muhammad says that uh, Jesus was just a prophet. We got all these different religions on earth. We got, it's complex. This is what's called a complex dimension. So I, I wanted to, to tell you that what's going on here is that we have a bunch of really, uh, maybe even overpaid, highly overpaid, uh, and, and even the money thing is a question like money like so you're gonna sit in school okay like I'm gonna watch this video this is gonna help me out you gotta be kidding me right so what I want to explain to you is that so one person might say money is about a piece of paper another person might say oh well money is about something else and I don't want to even mention anything that something else could be there's a lot of other definitions of what wealth could be so that's called a complex dimension right there's it's not just about one factor in life. And what I want to do is look at this funny thing called a Lorenz egg tractor. And it gets really absurd because these these guys are hustlers, right? There is, uh, so have you ever heard of someone who is like a con artist or really wants to try to figure out something and then they, they try to convince the rest of the world that they're absolutely right about everything? So basically, uh, here's the thing, right? So you have this space called mathematics and it's tied to this whole other space, uh, a complex space. And actually they're equal, right? You actually have a imaginary world and a real world and they're connected to each other. And that's why we have complex numbers, right? So uh, who's to argue that this guy over here, like, like, so I was sitting on the porch the other day and I'm like, well, uh, Anyway, so I, I can't explain everything. It's, I, I want it to be as funny as possible, and I'm really sorry. Remember, again, this is the last prayer, right? So what happens when everything on earth is awesome, right? Or everything on earth is terrible, right? Okay, so uh, like, okay, so like we go to, we go to a church and they tell us we're all going to go to hell. What if it's not, that's actually the wrong interpretation of the Bible? What if like revelations all about like there was like one book in the bible that's that's like maybe maybe uh like satan got involved with or something right are we really go like we're trying to make our lives better everyone's been working on that for thousands of years but the problem is it's true there is a possibility for uh this mathematical hell right as well as an imaginary hell so uh the thing is, is that the interesting thing about this thing you call a runs attractor is that certain points on this map to the other space perfectly right and you actually have certain uh even prime numbers and weird uh chaotic effects that match so let, let's look at this for a second so what i'm talking about is a manifold right so here's the funny thing right i went through i had to sit like you don't even want I, I talked with one of my friends uh, and I'm sorry to say this if you're listening from Africa but I have many I grew up in an African town um, and uh, the funny thing is that one of my friends I moved to a new town and he's uh, actually see there's there's Africans that live in America and then there's ones that are like you know live in actual Africa so uh, one of them came to America and he met me and I talked with him and you know, I wanted to, like, I was I was kind of angry because I knew, like, like these mathematicians think they know what they're talking about, right? So, and, and I went through so much work on this just to discover the simple, simple point. So there's this thing called a manifold, and it's a funny word if you, and remember, everything I'm saying is in English, and basically I, I don't even speak English. Manfold. So they're saying this is where you really give up at this point, right? So basically the funny thing is that in a manifold uh it's basically so the simplest manifold is a circle right so imagine this mathematician absolutely thinks he's right or this person thinks they're right you're actually going in a circle here everything is part of a continuous space um and it's called a manifold because you're actually just like this this like what point on this circle is better than any other point like like you're basically so it's like, like we got these people working at facebook 
or they're working at Google or whatever, and they're like, you know what? I finally solved this mathematical problem. This is the thing that matters most to me. It's absolutely true. This has got to be the way. Now, now here's the thing. They're going to sit down and they're going to show you graphs and pictures and everything and say, oh, this is this is absolutely true. And what I'm talking about, so the, the question here is that, so you're, you're, you're in a very difficult situation and that's the truth, right? Um, but the problem here is that we need to perceive something else, right? Um, and that's really what this last prayer concept is about, right? So like, how do we get, and I'm really scared because I got uh, many situations here uh, of people without food. Uh, you know, I, I don't even wanna explain to it. Uh, you know, I, I know several people that might even die pretty soon. Um, it, it's absolutely terrible out there. And uh, the question is, how do we deal with this, right? So. You can go back into a logical world and say, "Yeah, I'm gonna die. Everything's terrible and and uh, things." But maybe there's a there's a there's something else that we need to consider here and balance. And there's actually a balance between the spiritual and the logical, right? So the other point about this funny little thing here is that you'll notice that they're trying to map this part to a straight line here, right? So this actually maps to this, 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 right? So they mapped it, the circle, to another dimension and now they're convinced that this section is the right section so quickly i wanted to say that okay so yeah we see the universe optically right so here's an optical image of the milky way but or this is the optical one right there's other ways to look at it right and 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 there's actually even this is kind of a is a funny thing like if you talk to an astronomer they're going to say oh well this is the best way to look at the universe and I was talking with uh, someone in my family, and and I and I kind of cried for a moment because I started. I wanted to get a, a, a project called the Worst, and I'm really scared right now to talk like this because I know some people listening to this are really struggling with some very serious problems, and I, I want to look into those problems immediately. Uh, but I wanted to tell you that you know I've I've definitely been. You know, I live in pain, and I don't want to explain the details of how much pain I'm in. Um, you know, I, I have a problem, uh, and uh, on, on the right side of my head. So, uh, but anyway, so what I wanted to explain is that one of these pains is is trying. Like, like I, I, I grew up in a family of scientists, right? And uh, the funny thing about my my grandfather and the uh, the side is that it was about proving that the world is a certain way, and you got to be absolutely certain that that's the way. Uh, of the truth of everything and that's a very good approach to life sometimes um, and I don't want to uh, uh, necessarily hurt the people that say well you got to have food because you got to have food uh, you got to get a house you got to do all these things and that's very true um, but when you start to live in a world that's only like that uh, there's there's a question there so there's actually a balance between the spiritual world so what anyway this is a called a multi-wavelength image of the uh, milky way so again let's go back to this imaginary thing is that so we didn't have negative numbers and now we have uh, imaginary numbers and if you're not familiar with it it's, it's a very important discussion but essentially uh it, it, it's balanced so uh now the other thing is this is that some people are going crazy on this whole concept of fractals right and essentially, if you're not familiar with the fractal, uh, any one of these points you kind of evolve into all this other stuff, right? So you basically have, notice there's a pattern here where these all these shapes start to look the same, but then the whole picture looks different, but yet similar, and it's kind of branching out. But it gets to extreme complexity. You can follow any one of these little pathways, and it gets into really complex ideas. That's what's called a fractal because it's based on one kind of concept. So I wanted to go back to this concept in a second here uh, and just mention to you uh, about spiritual stuff. So uh, so wait a second, right? You're still listening to me. What is your problem? Um, let, let's seriously look at each other here. I'm really sorry, and we need to solve some serious problems. Uh, and uh, yes, there's some math here, but... What I wanted to do is is to strengthen your knowledge because you're wasting your time on the computer right now uh, with me and you and we both know it and we have to do something about it right and so I just wanted to uh, prepare you for uh, 
to tackle some of these really quote unquote really because because basically what I'm trying to explain to you is that you can help out right with these complex problems in math and science way more than you realize because they essentially may not have a spiritual key right so my suspicion is that a lot of people uh, in math have got the thing is about being an expert at something is that like if you're a really good expert at this you really spent a lifetime like you don't even want to know how much time they make you spend sitting in a chair looking at math stuff right um, and it's years and years and that's why I try to explain to my friend and and what I got scared about before I, the reason I'm scared to talk about some of this stuff in terms of the last prayer is that um, so I noticed a person in town I won't tell you uh, their race but uh, they were trying to get involved in studying this math and science stuff and they were taking it very seriously their face was turning red and they were just studying this and trying to they almost blew up like I'm scared for this person's life um, you know and uh, uh, I'll tell you I would love to tell you what the person who the person is but uh, and I'm kind of scared because you know what matters is kind of there's some peace in the universe that you gotta find to write this out. So I, I met someone, I'm gonna tell you a funny story here is that, so guess what, like I always believe, these people hustled me into trying to study all this stuff for them, right? And uh, you know, the funny thing is that, uh, so, so here, here's, the, here's, the, here's the really funny thing is that, so basically we can, uh, the, the interesting thing is that uh, there, there, anyway, there's a lot to understand. So this is called a mana bolt set. You can look into it in more detail. Now here you can see how you're kind of going into the concept. So it's one kind of idea, and yet it's different shapes as you get into this object, right? So again, there is something called a complex manifold, and that is something interesting to look at. Uh, you may want to look at that as well, but don't get a uh, headache and stress about this. And that's the other thing I wanted to explain is that, so these people are, uh, so be careful listening to me because I've gone through a lot of stress to get to this point as well. So, and, and there's practical problems that I really want to worry about. And that's why I'm kind of uh, handing this off to some other people, but you got to be very cautious um, because really what matters is what you're trying to study here. So let's go back to this question again. On a sphere, we live on Earth, right? And I've been talking about the equator or North Pole or South Pole. But quite honestly, what if I asked you seriously, what is the best point on this sphere? Well, I mean, let's think about it realistically, right? They're all very important points. And so the other thing I wanted to explain to you is that um, so one of the problems is that notice there's something called non-Euclidean geometry and you should probably uh, learn a little bit about it but it's, it's actually not even anyway so basically you have a connection between let's say this person lives on this line and this person lives on this line you have a direct connection everything makes perfectly logical sense between these two people so if you go between this space and this space you basically maintain the right angle here but notice on this hyperbolic space if you if this person if this thing is connected with this thing or this object it's no longer a right angle and even it's opposite of a right angle so here it's kind of going outwards uh hold on a second here uh so yeah my friend is visiting here um and i need to get out of this as soon as possible so let me try to finish this up because this is terrible i'm really trying to uh explain to you that what you're doing matters most in the world and uh, hopefully you'll get the, the gist here that this is the last prayer for mathematics. Um, so basically, and computer science, um, so here again you're starting to see a problem where you can't visualize the whole Earth uh, flat, right? Like uh, the Earth is on a sphere and yet we're trying to put it on a flat space. We need two pictures in order to see everything. Like, And even the, the, the angles and everything is not maintained in a flat space. That's an important concept. Now, there is something in fractals that you should maybe look at called the Heisenberg, this one, uh, dimension. So there's different ways to study each of these fractals. And you have a way of defining these manifolds. So again, let's, let's, let's really go back to this manifold concept. So imagine that all this mathematics goes in a circle, right? right? Uh, and basically, 
when you start to get really complicated, like, like, yeah, you start with a simple thing and eventually you build up this tower and then there's this, this idea of like, this is how Facebook works or this is how the internet or YouTube or whatever the terrible thing is out there. Um, what happens is it will kind of collapse onto itself and it becomes a simple idea actually, right? It's not it's actually just the truth is you, right, ultimately, right? Uh, and then here's another kind of manifold, another kind of manifold, uh, and topology. You can maybe look at this. So uh, what happened in math is basically, uh, so this is, a, this is like an early sign. So if you've taken calculus and all these other things uh what happens is you get into what's called a, if you read this carefully again I, i'm really sorry i'm gonna gotta get off this internet as soon as possible I, i'm really sorry if this is giving you a stressful time but it doesn't matter like what what you need to understand is that this is really purposely bad right here okay so uh so a different equation means it's kind of funny because they lost words at that point right so they, they started to get into if you're familiar with calculus, you get to first, second, third. They, they put it in like you know, calculus one, two, three, and you start to look at dimensions. Like you have the X, Y, Z dimension, or you have a, a triple integral, for instance, right? And what happens is what would happen if you started to infinitely do that? They came up with this word called a differential equation. So if you infinitely studied something in this calculus way, you basically get this differential equation. So you do get to that point and then what you realize is that that different equation is this circular equation that kind of comes back uh, in a circle here and it's basically a manifold right so uh, again there's more stuff to look at at fractals uh, you can do a search the other question is that even within this knowledgeable space of a fractal where everything seems to be a pattern there's noise and there's basically questions within that uh and or even certain points within the fractal that can explode and things like that and and also here's a really cool concept uh that, that they've discovered is called the fractal antenna where you're learning to do something based on a, a fractal listen listening to something right um so basically compression is an interesting idea because you can start to uh, compress now, this is a topic that I wanted to look at in great detail, but essentially when one fractal, so they came up with this idea, so everything gets complex, right? Remember we called about this different equation, right? So basically what happens if you have one fractal that's connected to another fractal? So that's starting to get the first order, which is basically a Julia set. And now you have, you know, like let's say male and female connecting to each other, right? And uh, something like that, right? So, and you can see this example here, uh, of how that may work. So this is an example of two different mathematical systems that are interacting with each other. It looks simple here, but let's actually, so that's, that's one of the questions. So one of the things that, and I'm really sorry, I hope this is, this is probably terrible to talk about and, and we got to get back to some real things here. So I just wanted to go through this, uh, to uh, get rid of all these problems and uh, if you're really stressed about it um, that's a that's a sign that you know you, you realize that there's something wrong here and I'm definitely in agreement with you so uh, basically uh, Hilbert space is interesting because we have this point now you let's say you have one idea how is that idea connected to everything else and as it oscillates what like that idea may change like okay this is this fixed idea that you have what if the idea is moving in different ways and there actually is a curve you can fill an entire con the entire universe can be connected by one line uh, and that line can actually change or be a fractal itself so this is a, a linear idea uh, in terms of how the entire universe might work and that becomes complicated uh, in that picture like you can see uh, and again, I'm really sorry, I'm going to try to finish this as quickly as possible. You may like to do a fractal analysis. Now, here is another concept. Uh, uh, so, so he, uh, let's take a break here for a second. We're talking about the last prayer here, okay? So, 
this is the this is the end of math. Like, forget about it, right? Just uh, if you don't want to, yeah, okay. So, hyperspace. Okay, let, let's. We've heard of this concept. Like, where is it? Like, what what is going on? Like, so uh, hyper. Like, we've all been sitting in school. Like they said, sit in school. Like that's the way to live life. But if the universe is moving. And like I, I don't even I, I forgot the exact speed that we're moving at uh, around the, the the solar system, but it's really fast, right? We're spinning at like a, a, you know four thousand miles an hour or something, right? So uh, basically, the place the the space itself becomes complicated, and that's basically what we really need to focus on here. And that you have some good ideas yourself. So again, in certain equations you can start to see that there is a low point here and some high points. And that's basically what's going on here is that they're trying to say that, well, this point matters the most in what we're trying to study. And they take the limit of something as it approaches infinity. So you can start understanding something in an infinite way. And they say, oh, well, this is definitely how it's going to end. And that's definitely the way that this equation works. And, well, uh, let's, let's... Okay, so... Uh, and and lastly, let's go back to the universe here. So we have mapped, like, remember we we got budgets to really understand things here, and we're trying to understand the entire universe. And this is great to do. And hopefully you're not too stressed about this. But what if we mapped 1.8 billion objects in the sky with a camera that has 1 billion pixels? So you, you you're taking pictures and you're just analyzing everything. This is what's called the Gaia Project. You should definitely know about it. It's interesting. That concept is called an all-sky image. So you basically have a way of looking at the entire unit, visible universe. And that's we already got that now. That's what the Webb Telescope did. That's what Hubble does. There's all kinds of information out there. Here's more about the Gaia spacecraft. And they essentially took an image of everything. So, so we have the entire picture of the universe guys um here it is uh our uh, the milky way right so and there's also other projects there's so many different space telescopes going on these are huge so this is the side of a soccer field look at the size of this telescope right this is a sp this is the james webb telescope it's almost as big as a part of a tennis court so we definitely have a lot of those and again this is where the questions start is that if space and time is not perfectly linked in this square euclidean space we basically have to depend on non-euclidean geometry and that means that everything gets complicated so uh, and but basically if you're getting a headache uh, again simplify things and realize that the right way to think about this is the way is some other way and a spiritual way. This is the last prayer, right? So we're basically, you know, we got we got the math, we got the science, we got all these things here on Earth. Maybe these are the really interesting end times to think about. Uh, many of the other religions, including, uh, you know, Hinduism, uh, I believe that this is maybe the end times, and, and it's interesting to think about all these details here so i need to get off immediately because my friend just stopped over and i ignored him and ladies and gentlemen and brothers and sisters and people of spiritual and logical truth let's get off the internet here so i need to go take a walk the butterfly effect is essentially saying that there's sensitive dependencies within a system and there's chaos within that so that's an interesting concept Lorenz and again this goes back to the Milky Way here um, so uh, and that's about it and let me just take a break here and see if my friend completely ran off because he's probably terrified of all this stuff and let me go see what happened here I'll be right back okay my friend is out there yelling and saying have you quit talking yet and I absolutely need to stop talking and I this English the one thing I would say is that really rethink about everything right and basically um, you know don't get stressed out here and I want to close on the headache concept because it's a lesson that I had to learn the hard way uh, because I live with pain and basically don't get stressed like we're, we're basically entering an age
where we're in the last prayer, right? So it's basically what's next. Like we really want to look at what I want to encourage you is that if you're stressed, you don't have to study any of this to know it. I just went through everything. You're done. Like to, to just forget about it, right? And, uh, and come back to something when you really want to study those things. And we basically come to an era where we believed that we had like like I go to work. Like we remember we had this virus that came around, COVID yo, or COVID, uh, and basically um, now we can say if we're sick we don't go to work or we do something else and the real nature of everything is changing right now so we still have to think about a lot of practical things and what I'm really suggesting to you is that uh, you know come up with a uh, question of how to work together with everyone I need to get off of this immediately so uh, and stop talking about this so uh, Again, I'm going to go through this one last time just to make sure I didn't miss anything. Um, and this will probably be terribly painful. So I started this, if you didn't notice, on astrology. And what I wanted to re-emphasize, if you've been listening to this carefully, is that there is a lie out there. right? And it's a scientific lie. There's also spiritual lies out there that you need to think about. And the question is this, is that if the universe really matters yes we need to study it logically and there's a lot of work to be done there um, but these people that said that there's something more to the universe maybe have an important comment because in a higher dimensional space spirituality starts to become important and there's something there that the mathematicians are not quite comfortable with because it doesn't it's not definable in an easy sense mathematically and so like you could say, well, I believe this about the universe and maybe there's a lot of truth to that. And that's essentially what astrology is. People are trying to study the universe in a way that's spiritual and they're looking at it carefully. Now, each religion has their own anger against astrology and positives. And you really got to look at all the different perspectives in religion to kind of start saying what you might think is valuable and I've definitely talked with some uh, local Christians and they are very tough about religion uh, in terms of truth being uh, a certain way so you you need to be cautious there's people that really know what they're talking about in all these different religions so uh, but again each one of these we started with astrology thing and then I went into this manifold hypothesis saying that uh, in higher dimensional data, real world, <coughs> basically the lower dimension starts to become important, right? So what this is suggesting to you is that these mathematicians have gotten to be so complicated that now we're saying the low dimension is important because the tower has gotten to be so high. Like there's just so much math out there. You're, we're being calculated to a, a degree that's unbelievable about what we do every day. That tower is about to collapse, right? That's the last prayer, right? Like, like okay, so yeah, like these men, like this is collapsing. Like we have, and I don't even tell you what's going on in, in the town that I live in. It's terrible. There's actually people uh, that have, uh, uh, there's been some life and death situations around town. Um, and that, that tower is starting to collapse. Um, and uh, it's, you know, people with, uh, with degree PhDs are starting to go to jail even so uh, uh, because they're not thinking about the spiritual side of things as well as the logical side and the, and, and, and and some of the truths within their own system of of, uh, of logic so uh, and again we didn't I'm sorry to go through this all again but negative numbers so think about it right well we have this we have these weird things called imaginary numbers so we didn't we didn't have negative numbers imaginary there's actually a complex dimension to what we're talking about things are a little bit complicated um, and I'm really sorry to have to go through this again I'm just trying to save you some time so you don't have to watch this video ever again and just look at this twice so again this is a ter I won't I, I don't want to show this picture too much because it's not a good way to look at it uh, what if there was well, the way that you might want to also think about it is there's a yes and a no or a negative one a positive one and then some kind of imaginary space so yes no and maybe there's kind of another way to look at it rather than just this 
Uh, so even these two sides are probably not correct uh, to look at. So uh, now, uh, again, a manifold is kind of the simplest form of a manifold is a circle. So you're basically going in a circle um, and things like that. But the point that I wanted to really stress is that and I'm sorry if this is really terrible to listen to and I need to get out of here. Everyone needs to go take a walk and listen to the earth and other things. The point that I wanted to stress is a story of, you know, it's kind of a funny story is that how does, how does the worst thing in the world turn into the best thing in the world, right? And that thing is you and me, right? Like we're all, like if we really thought about it, the truth is that you're connected to the entire universe. Right? And what if we actually lived like that? What if we, what if all of us started, what if, okay, this is, this is the last prayer, right? So like what I'm telling you is maybe the truth, right? What if I told you that, well, you're like, you're connected to the entire universe and uh, you can help out a little bit here and it's not just going to be math. Like there's other things like, yeah, there's people that sit around and do math all day, but, and maybe, but there's a ticket there on the math side because one little detail can change everything now, right? So basically people that really study this, uh, if, if the truth is that these guys have really figured out a lot. So, uh, and I wanted, I sent a message to one of my friends, <coughs> a racist message, and mentioned that one of the problems here is that uh, for the first time in history, so basically we have like a lot of white people, a lot of uh, Chinese and Indians in Silicon Valley working on this and uh, uh, you know the mathematicians and but where are the Africans working on this is an interesting question and the point that I'd like to make if you are from a foreign country or you haven't worked on these kind of problems is don't go through the hell like uh, don't go through the hell of all this studies like don't study any of this here like this is the last part these guys are done what you need to do is come up with a different idea and what 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 actually happened here is that my my friend's probably really pissed off with me he's uh in the other room right now and he's really under a lot of stress and i need to get off this computer but uh essentially what i'm trying to explain to you is that uh you know we're kind of on we're all on our deathbed here uh because of this technology stuff and we need to get done with this so uh and part of it is rethinking. So I, and you got to be careful. You listen to me because I, you know, there's, there's, a, if you're, if you have a great life, focus on that. So basically, what I'm trying to say on the thing is focus on having a good life. And you know, we live this. We live for thousands of years, <coughs> believing that life should be terrible, that we're going to go to hell or things like that. And that's maybe what's taking us to hell itself. So. Again, fractals are this concept where you have a particular uh, thing that actually can uh, be connected. So all these little equations are actually connected to everything else in that diagram there. And dimensions actually start to be crazy. So you have X, Y, and Z. That's how we look at the world, but actually that's not the only way. There's other dimensions. Like, okay, so we can go this direction or this direction or this, that's three dimensions three axes but after three there's this hyperspace or interesting area so that's where things get a little bit complicated and that's why what happened here is that you might look at uh, for example if you're looking at Facebook information you have all your friends on one axis uh, potential friends on another axis there's different axes so you start adding all this data and you get more and more axes uh, to understanding what's going on and that's actually just completely bogus so, uh, and there's, uh, there, there's some truth to it as well. So, uh, but anyway, so there's a fractal dimension where you can, st the assumption here is that these fractal dimensions, so, okay, well, I finally understand every possibility in every dimension, it goes back to the Lorenz contractor question, question, so, and a Mandelbrot set, so where there's certain chaotic points and uh, uh, truth. So, basically, uh, a complex manifold uh, and there's also the complex domain uh, that wasn't even considered within the multi-dimensional space so these are all different ones to look at uh, and again I'm sorry to re really talk about this so like uh, yeah you want to go here you want to go there but actually they're all very valuable points 
And again, let me go back to this point is that the best way to really understand the universe is you and the people around you and listening to the earth carefully, right? Sometimes sitting here on the computer, if that's all we're doing, there's a big question there. So uh, non-Euclidean geometry, again, there's this question about the relationship between uh, two things. So you may have a uh, two different ideas that explain the entire universe and how those two different universes are connected really matters a lot, right? So you'll have an argument, a mathematical argument, where they're all, they have to be identical or they don't necessarily have to be identical. Uh, so, uh, and really looking at a question of like why it is helpful not necessarily to always have things be Euclidean. And um, so, and again, how we look at that world. So like, look at the earth. Like if you look at the earth on a flat map, that's not the truth, right? We've been looking at the flat map for a long time and we can't even visualize it in one picture. So we need to like really change the rules. That's why non-Euclidean space is important because we had to put it on a flat map even though it's a circle, uh, a sphere, right? So, uh, and then differentiable manifold. Uh, and I'm really sorry to go through all these. I'm gonna try to speed this up a little bit. Uh, and again, that question of how we are connected to everything else, right? So it's not just Okay, so this is the point that we're trying to make about everything, and this is the other side of that point. That point is moving, and it's not just moving one way, it's moving many different ways. And that becomes a n-dimensional problem because we basically start to have, okay, this is the way it moves here. It's kind of like a fractal. Uh, this can move pretty wild as well. This is moving in a pattern that we understand, but it can get very complex as these patterns get uh, bigger and bigger and how that's connected to the entire universe and this is one thing that I wanted to stress is that uh, and I'm really sorry about this discussion I want to get done with this uh, as well but you know and and I think part of it is we need people to I'm trying to save people time to go through the stress of understanding all this like there's a lot of like every single detail here you know people spend a lifetime looking at just Hilbert curves um, so, uh, or just fractal analysis. So, uh, and what you're doing right here is really learning a lot of information, but uh, but actually it's terrible stuff. So I wanted to give a last prayer here. So uh, is that, again, I'm just kind of sending you out on a terrible thing here because what really, what the really key here is how strong you are to accept your own kinds of ideas and balance those with your uh, perspectives and not just get hauled in as another mathematician or a computer scientist. Um, and uh, uh, basically, uh, hyperspace is an important concept. That's where we started to talk about things. And graphing things is very important, right? So that's what's going on here is that people are graphing things and they say that this point is the point that really was the uh, point that we needed to think about. And they can even try to say that you can take the limit of something as they so let's say let's say you have an equation let's just take you through all of calculus really quick uh, so one over n and if you take n and you put infinity in there you actually get the number zero right so it, it basically that's what the limit is you can start you can take that to any equation and you just put the number infinity in your equation and you can see the really crazy idea is that wow like that's what Newton discovered is that he discovered a way to take an equation. All he did was put the number infinity in where the variable is and then said, what is the value of the equation? That's a pretty amazing concept, but it's not the whole truth. Like, you know, that, that's what happens. You, you discover something like this, you, you get an equation, so you, you put infinity in here and you put a constant in here and you say, well, the number is infinity. So you start doing these things to your equations. You say, well, that's the right way to see it, um, but it's not the way. So, uh, and uh, so basically we have, uh, and, and I want to take you back some history here, is that, you know, my grandpa and uh, uh, my family, they believed that you had to study the details first. And look at what happened, how wrong uh, my grandfather was. Like he said that he wanted to study particle physics. And now, well, let's just study astrophysics, right? So, but yet you depend on both, right? We're, we're depending on... The details and we just depend on the astrophysics so so these people that say it's only the particle physics or only astrophysics 
there's neither side of that is really going to be 100% correct. And so, uh, and this is the Gaia project that you want to look at. Here's a picture of the entire Milky Way. Let's just load that up in big image here so you can see. And what I want to emphasize, there's some really cool stuff going on here. Uh, different telescopes, uh, non-Euclidean, uh, and uh, yeah, so uh, let's leave it at the picture of this and just try to close here. So let's go back to another concept here is that, um, so uh, you believe that all that matters is communication, right? Or just uh, one thing. And the interesting thing is that uh, what if, you know, we could, we could, uh, talk to the entire universe um, or do some really awesome things and that's what our job is right that's what our job is to do something really fun and really cool and awesome so that's what I'm going to encourage you to think about and we'll leave it at that and that actually is the last prayer like what <laughs> and this is the scary thing right so what is our last prayer like what is your last prayer and what like what is it like if if this all kind of, um, all this real world and spiritual world came together and we had some kind of, uh, you know, the question there, what is that? So that's something to think about. I hope this has helped you out. I'm gonna go take a break uh, and I will try to think about some things. I'll come back maybe a little bit later, but I'll leave it at this for a while, for a second. Okay, so I'm really sorry about this, but I just take a step outside and we don't have very much wildlife in my country, but there's a lot of birds chatting. And I realized to myself, before my grandpa passed away and my relatives, man, just talk with a lot of people. Like, really get to know a lot of people out there. Talk to the, my, I don't know if you heard it, but my visitor, uh, my reincarnated grandpa is visiting me and uh, he yelled at me. He's like, well, you're talking to the earth in there? Anyway, so I gotta go back outside, but I'll see you later in a little bit. Sorry about this. I hope you guys are all doing good. And please, um, yeah, turn off your computer, do something else, and have fun. See you. Anyway, thank you so much. I'm gonna try to close this out here. Um, and uh, if you have any ideas, um, you know, I'm gonna completely laugh at everyone that kind of approaches me with some really logical stuff because man let's try to just take it easy and uh you know there's a lot of really important great work out there and i'm definitely willing to talk with some people about some interesting logical ideas um, but there needs to be a balance between the spiritual stuff as well so um definitely uh uh, uh yes and so i hope you're doing great uh, and i pray for everybody around the universe and for you personally and i hope everything is going great Thank you so much. See you later.